Welcome to Delight Channel. I'm always excited to have you here. And this week, I am moving towards the landing point now on succession planning. Um, if you are just joining us, you need to go back and watch like four or five videos dedicated just to this topic of succession planning. And um, the overall theme has been my drive to share four principles with you that I hope will help you to achieve seamless and successful succession in your organization. The first principle was that you need to acquire the succession mindset. I know you love the business, I know you're attached to it, but you must remember that if you don't change, you get changed. If you don't move, you get moved. One day, one time, you will no longer be around or capable of running the business. So prepare for it now. How do you do that? Create your legacy and let that be the motivator for you to do more than what you are currently doing. The second thing that you need to communicate it, let it not just be in your head, let others know. It acquires a life of its own and then it's an invitation to others to join you in, the, in, in your journey. The third, which has taken a couple of videos, is how you will then be able to institutionalize it. Now, the fourth is that you have no reason to fear. So I call that one fear not. Nothing to fear. So people are worried about, oh, what if it doesn't work? Oh, what's this? Oh, what that? The truth is that even if it doesn't work, you have nothing to lose. Because as we will talk about it in a bit as to why entrepreneurs do not do it and the benefits that can accrue from it, you realize that making effort at institutionalizing succession planning is a win-win for you. Even if it doesn't work, you are not worse off. Because in your process of achieving it, you will be building a better organization. Even if you have to go to the knee-jerk and reactionary succession process, you will still have something to show for it. But if you then look back at the history of organizations that have practiced this down the years, you will realize that it will work. It certainly will. Why? Because it is a process. So what happens is that even if you are lacking dearth of talent, and remember what we said, that when you do this well, it actually starts from when? From recruitment. Meaning that you will actually be recruiting with succession in mind. There's absolutely no way you can go wrong unless you are not doing it properly. So, you will find the right people, you will grow them, you will see your pipeline. Like the sales people will look at their pipelines. You will see your pipeline. You will know the people in the group. It is possible somebody will decide to pursue another interest. It is possible somebody may decide to stop work. It's possible for health or another consideration. Some people just step out of that pool. But it is very, very unlikely that everybody in the organization or everybody in the talent pool will just disappear. Very, very unlikely. Particularly when you structure it well, and you, you make it sufficiently interesting and sufficiently rewarding. Now, these are the details we couldn't go through here. Like I said, we can help you detail this out, design it and implement it if you choose. But the truth of the matter is that you have nothing to fear. Now, the second, or oh, I've lost count now how many points I've said, of why you need no fear is the fact that it accommodates whatever you have in mind for your children, for your family or whatever else you want to do. Watch the last video for the details of how that works, meaning that it doesn't even exclude whatever you have in mind for your children. The third or the next point, why you did not fear, is the fact that this actually helps you to live a better life. You can slowly have a life. Imagine a mother who has to care for a child all her life. Go ask parents who have had to be caregiver to a sick child for any length of time. They tell you how wearying it is. That's exactly what you'll be doing to yourself if you don't allow this child to grow and acquire a life of its own. What I'm saying is that it is in your best interest to allow it to happen. Because if you do, it helps you to live a better, fuller life. So, in summary, 
there is really, really no need for you to have any fear about it. It's an ultimate, it, it, it's, it's an eventuality that you cannot run away from. And what you are now doing is to prepare for it in a very structured manner so it doesn't catch you unaware. And the last but not the least is the fact that you will not stop being relevant. You will not stop being the boss. It will not stop being your business. It will not stop carrying your brand. The only meaning is that you can now do more and do more with a little less of yourself, but more of whatever you have acquired down the, the, down the years. So, in the next few minutes before I shut down for this week, the question is, why, why, why? Why is it so hard for entrepreneurs to do this? Why is it that everywhere you go, you see carcasses of organizations that were once successful and today they only exist on abandoned billboards or in the archives when you run a search for those who still know anything about them? Why is it like that? It's primarily because of the very first thing that we've said. Many of them have not acquired that mindset of transition. They've not, thought be, they've not thought of their legacy beyond just buying that car and building that house. And therefore, everything else is difficult for them to do. That is the biggest obstacle to succession planning. And that is why we started with it as point number one. If you are struggling with it, like I said, let's know. We'll walk you through it and you will look forward to retirement. Because sincerely speaking, succession planning is your road to immortality. I say that again. Successful transitions, successful successions are your critical ingredients that will lead you to immortality. If you want to remain in people's mind, you know, there are people that will never forget you because of what you will do to their career because of how well you have implemented your succession planning system. So people will never forget you for what you've done for their fortune, for their economic status, for their profile, because of what you've done through the succession planning. Some businesses will never forget, forget about you. Even when you are gone, every time they talk about the business, they will go back and mention your name. We have many, 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 many. That was, I have referred to the GE example in the course of this, of this series. You find out that that system runs so well that G is considered to be the factory for CEOs in the American uh, economy. Why? Because by the time it gets to the top, and you have like maybe six, seven people who could be eminently qualified to succeed, whoever is the um, MD at that point, only one will be appointed. And what happens to the other five? They go out there and they do fantastically well in, new, in, in whatever organizations they go. Why? Because it's a structured process. They are prepared for it. Come to the Nigerian environment. Deloitte and Tuch. How did they start? Akitola Williams. Even though he's no longer on the headline in terms of name, but when you trace the history, you will find it there. So, when we talk about succession planning, I repeat, it is your road to immortality. So, there's nothing... There's no reason why entrepreneurs should not let go of their fears. Do not struggle with that mindset. Don't let your personality, your profile be defined only because all everybody has to wait for you until you sign the check. The money can't go through until you sign the instruction letter. Nothing can happen until you sign on. The customer, no new person can come in. If that is all you have defined your profile to be, then you will struggle to let go. But when you create your legacy and it is clear in your mind, you will see that you have everything to gain by letting go. So what I've tried to clear is that the reason why entrepreneurs don't like to do this is out of fear. And I hope that what we've shared so far makes it, comfort, make, makes it easy for you and gets you comfortable to start today to do something about succession planning. Ooh, I have one more video and then this series will be done. So I'm sure you don't want to miss that as I wrap everything together and then anchor at the final destination. Tim Mark is still my name. I'm always happy to have you here. Tell everybody, spread the word. We now have over producer 
over 120 videos, I think, on this platform that covers all sorts of things. So feel free. I'm sure something here will be useful for you. Tell everybody, spread the word, and let's know that you are out there by dropping us a comment, dropping us a like, writing in, because we are here just to serve you. Until I come your way next week, like I said, Timak is still my name. And don't ever forget that all we are trying to do in Delight is what? Make a little difference. I hope to see you next week. Bye.